Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Okay, we are starting off this morning with a video message just for you guys. So let's, let's start with that, okay? Here we go. Morning, everybody. So I wanted to put my message to you guys at the beginning, not at the end. Um, something very interesting has happened. So, you know, my father passed away coming up on 10 years ago. My mother passed away um, six, seven years ago. And clearing out her stuff with my siblings and then I put paperwork into closets and I didn't look at it again. And, um, you know, moving into the new house and getting stuff out of storage. And I've started going through my mom's stuff. And I found a book a children's book written by my dad. Um, remember, for those of you who don't know, um, he was a lifelong advocate for children with special needs, children that were deaf, blind, multi-handicapped. This was his life's work. This is what he did the whole time. Anyway, um, I've decided I'm gonna publish his book and uh, I'll have more details for you as we go forward, but I'm really excited. I have read the book to several people, uh, several of my friends' children. Everybody seems to love it and say it's 10 times better than anything else that you would purchase. So, and that's Finn getting upset. Hello, Finn. <laughs> All right, let's get on to our show. All right, you guys. Now, unfortunately for today, once again, we have two videos. So um, follow me. We're going to watch this video and then we're going to move on to video number two. OK, because there's a lot again. So let's go. I'm starting off with a big thank you to my subscriber, Lucy, who sent me the chocolate. My waist didn't need it, but that's OK. The keychain that she made herself, a sticker and these books that you're about to see. Now, she sells these books on a small shop on Amazon. She sells printed stationery, journals, notebooks, diaries. The name of the shop is Lou's Design Studio. I love the books she sent me and uh, you guys should go on there and see if you can get some for yourself. I just, I love them. Thank you so much. Next, a big thank you to my subscriber, Kate, for sending me this cartoon, which is supposed to be Harry and Meghan as parents. Very cute, Kate. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on. Next, a big thank you to Kathy202424 20, on Twitter for these. You know, I have to say, he actually looks better without the hair, but you know what I'm saying. But if I had to choose from all of these, this one would be my favorite. I think he'd, it'd be an improvement. I don't think he realizes the more he tries to hang on to it, the worse he looks. Mm, moving on. Next up, my subscriber Kika sent me these showing that Megan had a thing for Trump's daughter. Now this picture was taken before the wedding. This one was taken after the wedding, obviously. I mean, I wonder if she has any style on her own. You know what I'm saying? She always seems to copy other people. Very interesting. Now, we also know that she has a thing for Angelie Jolie. She's copy, you know, when she wore this cape dress, everybody went, oh, look at that style. That style had been around, uh-huh. Just like this picture that was taken after the wedding is a total copy from her. She, uh, she's always copied people, you know, famous model poses. Even Princess Diana, like seriously. All right, let's move on now. We're going to start off with Mike Tyndall, you guys. Remember he did the I'm a Celebrity? Well, that went so well for him. He's going to feature now in a new show for ITV called Grand Slammers, where England's Rugby World Cup champions go into a world of sport inside correctional facilities. Yeah, a little scary there, but okay. So what they're going to do is train a team of incarcerated individuals and um, they're going to basically try to show you how sports can help transform lives. Now, one of the places they're going to is called HMP Mount because it's got one of the last existing rugby pitches in an adult male prison. All right, moving on. Next up, a notification, an official notification came out saying that Charles and Camilla are going to go to Paris and Bordeaux. 
Um, and they're going to share the history, culture, and values of the United Kingdom. Love it. They're going to be there the 20th through the 22nd of September. Remember those dates. Now, while we're talking about Camilla, yes, she has been named one of British Vogue's Vogue 25 people. I think that's absolutely lovely. Good for Camilla. She is being recognized for her hard work. I love it. All right, moving on. All right, here we go. These articles are coming out saying that body language people can tell that Harry is reserved when he's with Meghan Markle and is only quote unquote authentic when he's on his own. Where have we seen examples of this? Well, here's a perfect example, okay? Here is Harry in Singapore recently, completely by himself, hanging out with one of his friends. Megan's nowhere to be found. He actually looks like the old Harry. He looks happy, carefree, looks like he's having a fabulous time, okay? But whenever he's around Meghan Markle, that seems to go away. And a perfect example is when he was at the place to give the uh, Nelson Mandela speech. You guys remember that? We all remember what happened. He walked in. He didn't look happy walking in. He sat down. While he was giving his speech, hardly anybody was paying attention to him. Then he sat down next to Megan. He looked miserable. We all remember the video where she was grabbing his arm. I mean, this is the Harry that we're used to seeing around Megan. Uh, that's typical. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. All right. This is just one of those articles that comes out that I just have to touch on because it's almost a joke. Harry blames King Charles for the failure in his career because he says Charles blocked his dream career path. Okay, so do you know what his dream career path was? Well, according to the spare, he wanted to go work at a ski resort at a fondue hut in the center of the Austrian village and, and more seriously was thinking of becoming a ski instructor. Yeah, that's what he wanted. Moving on. Now, remember I told you that there might be some talks, but then the palace came out and said, no, there weren't going to be any talks, and come to find out that that story was floated by the Sussex camp? Well, now it's coming out that Harry is going to be in London on the eve of the anniversary of the Queen's death in September. He's going to be doing the Well Child Awards charity. We all know that during this visit with the charity, he's going to reference the Queen and the Queen's death, and he's going to try to pull the attention away from the family. We're all aware of this. But the interesting thought is that Archwell has confirmed that Harry is attending that by himself. Meghan is not coming to London. I think that's an excellent idea. I think people hate her and nobody wants her around. Now, of course, we know that last year he was supposed to be at the well child, but then the queen died and so he had to withdraw. Now, what I haven't figured out yet is why well child is still using him. All right, we're going to stop this right here, and we're going to continue with video two. So come join me with video two now, okay? Let's go.